tip top of the afternoon or morning or whatever the case may be in your part of the world. Hey, this is Jerry. Jerry, I know I do realize it's late in the day, and I do realize that for the record. We're going to go ahead and do some quick bobberings here. Um, why not go ahead and make a quick video of what we have it on our mind? Um, I don't see why not. I mean, it's just perfect timing, I guess. And it's like I said, um, we're making this video for a reason. And um, we're just going to go ahead and do this because it's the right thing to do. And, you know, you know what's so interesting about... There are so many people who don't think that this is important. I got news for you, it is. Because what we're doing today is something that's very important to people. Yeah, and there's something I want to touch on. I touched on it last night. If you watched last night's videos, yeah, you would understand where I'm going with this. Um, we touched on this last night. And we praying, pray before you overthink. I think that would be a kind of a um, the notion there. Um, because if we pray more than we overthink things, we might end up being better people for it. For it because you never know. I mean, stranger things I've seen happen in the world today. They, and it's going to get nuttier and nuttier as the time goes on. You know, there was a guy on the bus who said, and I quote, make this quote. I thought it was a very interesting quote. He said, life can be better than what you think it can be. Life can be nuttier than what you think it can be. But life is what life is. And I want to apologize to my regular fans. You know, you're used to seeing this in the morning. Yeah, you'll see the, another video like this in the morning. But what's wrong with a pop-up video in the middle of the afternoon for a Bible? And our first set of readings. Let's get down to that this portion that portion of the video. Um first set of readings comes from the book of Acts. Acts three, beginning with the first chapter, all the way down to the twenty sixth, chapter four, one through thirty seven, chapter five, one through one, one through forty one. Chapter 6, 1 through 15. Chapter 7, 1 through 51. Let's get started.
Okay, that was the uh, book of Acts, beginning with the third chapter, 1 through 26. Chapter 4, 1 through 37. Chapter 5, 1 through 42. Chapter 6, 1 through 4, 15. Chapter 7, 1 through 51. Now, why is he... Why is the book of Acts so important? Well, let me answer that. Any other Bibles are important, but Acts tells a lot of oh, tells a lot of what's going on in the real world today. And um, you know there are scrolls and everything, and what life goes through. But the Bible. I guess you could say, yeah, you know, there was something here on, there was something on Facebook a while back. And I would like to integrate on that, that if I may. Um, there was something here, here on Facebook a while back. Google doesn't have all the answers, but the Bible does. Oh, yeah. You read what experts tell you, then you read what the Bible says. interesting calm stuff there, wouldn't you say? Because if we as Christians strongly believe in what we read, then why aren't we doing it? Even I myself am guilty of being a bit um, lazy sometimes in the Bible. I'll admit to that. But, you know, and not doing what God says. But I strongly believe that, and, and I strongly believe this in, in the most powerful way, that, you know, God understands, you know, we're human. And we're not exactly, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, we're not exactly all upstairs to begin with. Some people are. Some people are well wits and stuff like that, but... There are some who are just not, hmm, how do I say this? There are just some people who are just not with the program. And, you know, and that includes a lot of people. And not only here in the States, but around the world. There are some crazies out there in the real world, the world that really can drive you insane. And, you know, it goes right back to what I was talking about in the beginning of this video and the beginning of a um, portion of what last night's video was. I guess we're just picking up where we left off. Um, we sometimes as Christians pray, don't pray, but we overthink it. No, so I said that, and I'll say that again. We as Christians, Christians overthink it. And sometimes we have to think. Think, what are we doing? Well, I mean, we have to ask that question every day. Is truthfully in what God tells us to do, are we really doing what God says? The answer to that is no. Some yes, some no. But by today's standards, more no than yes. That's about the God's truth right there, and I'll say it again. Most people say that the news media is controlling. Well, in a way, it is controlling. It controls all of us. But when you mention the word control, there's a lot of things that go with that. Control top, control control life, control this, control remote control. There's a lot of there's a lot of things that are controlling in the world today.
Just run, no, 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 no. Think about what I'm saying. You understand what I'm saying. Saying the world is controlled. What is it controlled by? Chaos. And that's exactly what people think need to be done. Our second set of readings comes from the book of Romans. Beginning with the second chapter, 7th verse, all the way down to the 29th, chapter 3, 1 through 31, chapter 4, 1 through 25, and chapter 5, 1 through 9. Here we go. Okay, that was the uh, book of Romans, beginning with the seventh chapter, I mean, beginning with the second chapter, excuse me, seventh verse, all the way down the 29th, chapter 3, 1 through 31, chapter 4, 1 through 25, and chapter 5, 1 through 9. Now, like I said earlier, I've said this many times in the past. If you do not understand any of these Bible readings that I show you, please grab a Bible of your understanding and understand what the Bible says. Because the Bible is written in so many different languages around the world. And I and I do recognize you know, that these Bible readings do get around the world. You know, even on my daily Bible readings, if you don't quite understand, you know, the wording or the language, um, get a Bible of your language and start to understand what this really means. Because, you know, the Bible, no matter where we get our Bible readings from, Um, we have to understand what the Bible tells us. I can apologize, I didn't get much sleep last night. And, um, like I said, I just got home and just said, well, okay, go ahead and do what I had planned to do earlier in the day. I'd like to apologize to I'm um, not getting these readings out this morning, but things get a little haywire around here and um, you know things go a little haywire and stuff like that. And, you know, the more we get into it, the better it will be. Alright, our next set of readings are going to come from the first book of Chronicles. It's going to begin with the 7th chapter, with the 17th verse, all the way down through the 40th, and chapter 1, 1 through 13. And i got to say something before, before we get into this um, next set of readings. Um, 
like to wish um, everybody out there a wonderful day. And I hope that you are enjoying your day. Hopefully the weather is a little bit better where you are in your part of the world. Well, because the weather is kind of chilly here in the mountains of West Virginia. <laughs> right now it's about 55 degrees in West Virginia. And the weather, it might get better. <laughs> At least that's what they say. Okay, like I said, let's go ahead and do our next set of readings. It comes from the, the first book of Chronicles. Beginning with the 7th verse, 17th chapter, all the way down to the 40th. Uh, one in chapter 8, 1 through 13. Here we go. Okay, that was the first book of Chronicles, beginning with the 7th chapter, beginning with the 17th verse, all the way down to the 40th, chapter 8, 1 through 13. Now, what's so interesting about all this is, um, as you know, um, Easter's coming, and I would like to see more of what Easter really is. I know that people don't think much of Easter as, you know, uh, people think, well, this is a big time and everything. Then, you know, you get your new Easter, you know, you get your new Easter clothes and stuff like that. But that used to be the trend. And it still is somewhat of the trend that's going on today. But would also like to take this opportunity to possibly say that you know, that should also be the time. It also should be a time of great worship. But here's the thing. Yeah, and I've said this before in one of my other videos. No, and, oh, it's, it's about repeating here. Um, yeah, I'm oh, so sorry, folks. I am just tired. I really don't. I mean, I, I mean, I feel good, but I just don't quite understand why I'm sleepy today. <coughs> but before we get into our last set of readings, and then we'll go right into. A, then we'll go right into our regular routine. But I'd just like to say that, um, you know, basically, you know, if more people would start to dress up for Easter again, instead of looking halfway decent casual, maybe things, maybe we can get back to worship in the way it used to be. 
just something to think about there. And I'll say that again. A recent study has shown that if more people, when people were dressing up for church, church, it was more of a, um, it was more of a, um, people seemed to worship better. Now, I don't know where they get this information from. I really don't, but that's just how it is. And if we can get more out of the clouds, more we would understand that. Our last set of readings for today comes from the book of Epis At least how you pronounce it. It's E P H E I S I A N S N A. Get that right. E P H E S I A N S. Um, beginning with chapter 2, tell when the 14th verse began the 15th, all the way down to the 22nd. Chapter 1, 1 through um, 21. Chapter 4, 1 through, we'll get right, 24. And correct that, 1 through 32, excuse me, on chapter 4. Chapter 5, 1 through 32. Chapter 6, 1 through through 22. Here we go. Okay, that was uh, the epistle to the Philistines, as we, we pronounce it. That's uh, E-P-H-E-S-I-A-N-S. -E beginning with chapter 2, tell one of the 14th verse, beginning of the 15th, all the way down to the 22nd. Chapter 3, 1 through 21. Chapter 4, 1 through... Yeah, right 32 chapter 5 1 through 32 chapter 6 1 through 22 now I do realize you know it's quite interesting that you know uh, that we do a lot of Bible readings either right here on the video or on my Facebook page but I strongly believe and I just strongly believe this that we, as people, or people, need to read the Bible. And the more we read the Bible, the more we understand the Bible. 
And the more that we find out that we're goofing up in our own little life. And you know, and, 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 and I couldn't have said that any better. <coughs> we as people goof up our own lives. There ain't no argument about that. I mean, in closing, I like to put it this way. You know, we've come up with what we've come up with. Our own style, our own life, our own way of looking at things. I've always felt that people need the chance to get the Bible back in their own lives. People need to get back to church. But do we as people say, let me rephrase that a little bit. Do people think they really need to get back in the church? Now there is a great debate there. Um, some would say yes, some would say no. But sometimes we as people have to think what's best for us. Do we do stuff that do, do the people do things that are not that are not proper? Take a look out in your own world and you'll see a bunch of non proper things going on in the real world. World out there out there, out there in the real world, world people need, people need the Lord now than ever before. Think of it that way. Peace. Grace and peace. Aloha. We serve men and women serving around the world in our branch for your small territory and our veterans. We love you madly. Gracious Father, we thank you for this video and for the many blessings that it's going to give people around the world. Gracious Father, we thank you for this time with the video time of the Bible. Lord, lead people to not only the Facebook side of this, but the YouTube side of this as well. Time with the video, video time with the Bible. That's what you told me to name this, to name this, and that's what I do. I do what you say, what you want me to do. Gracious Father, I thank you. Lord, I ask that if there's a person out there right now who's struggling with an addiction, Lord, help that person. Lord, if there's been somebody who's been involved in a car accident right now, Lord, I ask you to be with those people. Lord, if there's a, a fire, structure fire, or any kind of fire, wildfire, please be with those who are not only being affected, but those who are fighting this fire or helping that wreck. Gracious Father, be with these people. And be with the average everyday person who's struggling right now in the world today. Now, as our Lord and Savior rest us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, how to be thy name. Thy kingdom come, shall will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. By the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you folks for watching. I appreciate it. Peace. We'll talk to you again soon. And we'll talk to you probably tomorrow. Tomorrow for, uh, we'll definitely be on the video thing tomorrow. Tomorrow for church. And for some other activities that are going on in the city of Corksburg. Because tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. 
Happy St. Patrick's Day to all those around the world who celebrate this particular holiday. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, peace to you all. Amen.